Lots of Civil War activity in the area. I don't know if anything's happened on this property. Uh, but we've got a little stream we're going to be looking for today. And hopefully there might be something around it. But I wanted to show you two things real quick. I just got started. My fingers are freezing. I forgot my gloves naturally. But we won't whine too much about that. Really cool uh, thing dug out of the woods here. I have no idea what this is all about. You can see that with it drops off and it's dug off got like a little thing going out that way mounds of dirt this could be a hundred years old 200 years old no idea i haven't looked around here yet with a metal detector because i wanted to show you this first i know it's not really amazing but to me it is <laughs> look at these cool mushrooms isn't that wild that's just absolutely gorgeous love it little tiny baby ones i wonder if they're good to eat well we're not going to find out ah there goes a grouse <laughs> i don't know if you heard that or not but there was a grouse right there it just flew up up into the trees let's get to digging i'll show you what we're doing hopefully we'll find a few things today i'm going to be using the at max i have it on zero program zero discrimination maximum sensitivity always make sure you ground balance if you can i don't know if we can right here uh, it might be too much. Well, no. I don't know if there'd be a lot of iron here or not because that, I don't know if this is some type of foundation. Something happened here. I, I don't know. I have no idea why it would be mounted up here and just dug out of the thing there. Not like they were coring dirt or anything. But anyway. All right. Let's get to it. As soon as I find something that's worth showing to you, I'll show it to you. And if I don't, well, you'll, you'll never see this, <laughs> this clip. <laughs> Let me get to it. I gotta get moving, man. My fingers are freezing. So I've got my first signal right in front of the hole, and it is a shotgun shell hull. That's the base to a shotgun shell. It's, it's brassy. This thing popped out of the hole. I thought it was a doorknob. <laughs> like a doorknob, but it's not. It's a rock. Well, so far I've only been finding shotgun shells, but here's a weird dump in the middle of the woods I thought we'd explore. Well, I don't know how weird it really is, but... This looks like there are a lot of wash tubs. Uh, yeah, that's like a wash tub, wash tub. Well, that's a, uh, I guess a muffler off an old car or something. Oh uh, yeah, it's an old fender. A little bit of enamel wear. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's out here all by itself. Look at that. No bottles. Ah, boy. All right, that's not what we're after, though. Let's see if we can find the metal detector and get back to it. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Just came off that big hill behind me, and I see the creek. It looks really cool. Let's go check it out together. We'll detect all this. I don't know if we're in the gold belt here or not. Might be pretty close to it. Beautiful little creek, isn't it? Look at that. The uh, landowner was telling me that uh, oh, it's gonna be too big for us to get into, that's for sure, today. That they, uh, she's found a lot of arrowheads and stuff up in uh, the fields nearby. So I was hoping we might be able to get down along the creek there and look in the sand and the gravel. Maybe find one or two. Let's see if we can get down. Oh, well, looks like we can get down over here. Let's go over here. Figured we just scamper down and go along the bank right there, but since we have all this gear, let's look for an easier way. Yeah, you'd think there'd be something along here, if not an old homestead. Um, some uh, Indian artifacts, hopefully. Too cold to get in the water, though. Yeah, I couldn't get down over there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off for a few minutes and uh, hunt my way, metal tech my way over. To that low area then when we get on the creek i'll turn it back on unless i start finding tons of stuff first and then i'll turn it on right away i promise you i guess we should detect down here a little bit too on those rocks maybe but yeah we're not gonna be able to see much all these leaves <laughs> clear the sun <laughs> sorry about that these uh, cameras are terrible for that. Nice clear water though. I don't see any bear tracks. I was actually camped up in the woods there last night. Didn't hear any spooky things going on. 
little bit of sand. Some artifacts. Well, that's interesting. That pile of rocks right there doesn't really look natural, does it? That could be where farmers a long time ago put rocks on that bin so it doesn't eat the bank away like that, but that's just uh, something's going on there. We'll have to look at that a little closer. Some raccoon tracks. Okay, um, I'll explore a little bit around here. I thought what we would do is work our way along the edge of these rocks here and see what we can find. And I got a signal here that it just dug up, but unfortunately it's just a fired modern bullet. It's a copper jacketed bullet. You can see it's coppery. And it probably has a lead center. Most of them do. Let's see if it's white, it's got a lead center, but yeah. So it did get a good signal right here. I think we're pretty close to the uh, gold belt. I don't know if we're actually in it, but I'm gonna really pay attention uh, to the rocks and look for little tiny nuggets too, because it could be little few gold nuggets in here. Wouldn't that be funny if we came out of here with a three ounce gold nugget and not a mini ball? <laughs> <sighs> All right, we're gonna go downstream about a quarter of a mile, half a mile, then we'll go back up in the woods and circle back around to the truck. Gotta spend about mm, three hours here maximum today, unless we start finding stuff. Well, I searched that whole area down through those rocks and only found uh, some beer cans and pieces of beer cans. So we're gonna have to, you see it kind of ends right here and I'm not getting in the water. So we're gonna have to go up the bank, follow the deer trail up the bank, and go back up in the woods. So I wanted to show you kind of a neat thing that you'll see in the woods a lot of times. And for you guys who don't spend a lot of time in the woods, you might not know what it is or why it's there. See my metal detector stuff right there. But if you look, there's a big hole just like right here in the woods, nothing else around it. And it goes straight down. Isn't that weird? Well, there is a good explanation. I'm not gonna stick my hand down there just in case there's a little rattle moccasin in there. But the explanation is that this is actually the uh, root to a tree that goes straight into the ground and the tree died and the root rotted away and it just left the opening where the root used to be. Now, this is a pine tree. Pine trees have tap roots that go straight down just like that. So it's pretty much the only place you'll see those types of holes that go straight down where this pine tree grown around here. When you have the other deciduous trees like this, like the oaks and the hickories and stuff, their roots actually kind of spread out. So when they die, it just might be a little hump there, or if they get blown over, which you see a lot, that's when it pulls all the ground up and it looks like a little trench that someone might have dug. You know, it might be six feet long or something, but there'll be a pile of dirt on one side. I just thought that would be kind of neat to show you that hole like that. It just looks so weird out here. I mean, it just looks like someone dug a hole and where'd the dirt go? <laughs> <laughs> well, went up into the tree, now it's in the leaves all around us. Or in the sawmill in somebody's house. Maybe your house. So what do you think? Should we go explore it? Looks like a log cabin. An old car of some sort, an old truck. Huh. <laughs> I think they wore those tires down pretty good, didn't they? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> wore it right down there. Not sure what that is. It's an oldie. All right, let's go to the old cabin. It's like it's a log. I don't know if it's old or not, but could be. I don't suspect that's very old. Though it is, oh, though it is log. Paper shack. I remember this one as a kid. Used to have this on a lot of the buildings I grew up. Well, I don't know. Let's take a look inside there. But look at that. Those uh, those bricks are pretty old, I think. We'll look at those in a minute. a door. <laughs> Did you see a door? That's the old foundation. I don't know if it fell off of the foundation or maybe there was a house here before. 
I can't figure this out. Can you? I mean, I didn't see a door. Maybe it. Maybe there's. This is the second story. The first story collapsed. Do you see a door? <laughs> Isn't that weird? I guess we'll have to go look in here. There's no bats in there. Oh, you know what this is? This is a tobacco barn. This is where they would, when they took the tobacco out of the fields, they would lay them over these uh, logs in here to dry. That's exactly what this is. Now, I don't know how to get inside, or if you can. Those must be drying vents or something down there. This is a series of pipes. I didn't bring a flashlight with me, but see those pipes go all the way around. It must be like some type of dry. Oh, there's a door over there laying down, so the thing is collapsed. Let's look from the other side. Yeah, that's, there's no way that's very old. Those, those logs would have rotted long ago. Yeah, that's the doors right there. It's all collapsed. You can hear though. Huh. Can't really see anything too different, but it definitely has some type of um, air, air moving system in there. I guess to, to dry the leaves. That's probably what this is all about. Maybe they had a, I don't know how they did. I thought maybe they had a fire out here or something. Is that a bed? A cot maybe? Yeah, we might be able to get in here. Get in this window. It doesn't collapse on us. Might have to uh, call my wife first, let her know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going there yet. I don't have a flashlight. I guess I could go get one, but. I've never seen anything quite like that with those um, uh, drying things inside. Huh. Have you seen enough? Especially of the big spiders? I have. Alright, let's keep moving. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep. Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be.